A journey of thousand miles begins with a small step. And for me, a thousand mile postmaster journey is going to begin today with the small step of icebreaker speech. Good evening, fellow postmasters. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for your constant support and encouragement which I received from the day one of attending my first meeting at this club as a guest. And at this moment, I would also like to thank my college friend, Puneet Khandelwal, the person who has introduced me to the Toastmasters community and inspired me to be the part of it. So, uh, the purpose of this speech is to introduce myself and uh, I think I can introduce myself better by sharing with you a set of two small stories. So, for, for my first story, I would like you to imagine a kid which is of 8 years of age and like just every other kid, he goes to school, live with his parents and play with his friends in the evening. But the one thing which, differs, uh, which differentiates him from the other is that he is very introvert and shy and he does, does not uh, like to talk with strangers or to make new friends. And uh, you can uh, uh, think what is the reason behind it. The reason behind it was he stammered a lot. And due to his use of stamina, uh, he did not have an enough confidence to interact with a stranger or to initiate a conversation even in the group of three or four children. Now coming to my second story. For my second story, I would like you to imagine a chief executive officer of a big electronic giant, a billion dollar company. And at this moment, he is on the stage and going to unveil a groundbreaking product uh, on which his team has worked for past several months. And in the auditorium, there are, uh, it is full of the audience and there are several media persons who are covering this event. And this ceremony is being televised live throughout the world and millions of eyes are glued to their, uh, to their television sets to watch each and every accent and each and every word is spoken by this uh, chief executive officer. Uh, and, and this chief executive officer has excellent uh, presentation and auditory skills and because of that he can capture the imagination of audience for several hours without any break. Now coming back to myself, as a child I was very much similar to the kid in the first story. And since I stammered a lot, sometimes even after every second, third word, uh, I used to stammer. And because of that, I did not have enough confidence to initiate a conversation or to, uh, or, or to uh, speak with any stranger. But with the uh, passage of time and after undergoing several speech therapies, I have been able to control my stammering a lot. But still, there is a large way to go. And the person which I talked in my story to, I think several of you can guess his name. Uh, it's very much similar to Steve Jobs, uh, which I discussed. That person is someone whom I idolize and take inspiration from in the domain of public speaking. And uh, if I say, honestly, I want to become like him, a master presenter like him. Uh, so as of now, I feel myself undertaking a journey from that kid in my story one to the chief executive officer in the story too. And, uh, and you know this uh, journey is not going to be a simple one. This journey is going to be a very difficult and full of ups and downs. And, uh, and to make this journey, uh, these ups and downs more bearable and to face the, all the situations with more courage, I have joined the Toastmasters community uh, so that I can get a proper guidance and help to complete my journey. Uh, so this was the reason uh, uh, because of which I joined the Toastmasters community. Uh, I would also like to share something more about myself. So as a professional, I am a software engineer and currently working at Addiction Research and Development Team and uh, my hobbies include yoga, jogging, listening to music and reading books. And there is one fact uh, which I want to tell about myself is I am a black belt in martial arts and also won a bronze medal at a uh, national event. Although seeing my current physique it may not seem obvious and any
anyone can doubt it. But yes, this is not a fake news, and this is 100% correct. <laughs> uh, so, uh, at last, I would like to uh, complete my speech uh, by uh, quoting a very inspiring quote uh, of, uh, of a great uh, writer. The success is in the journey, not in the destination. And, uh, and very often, the journey is more important than the destination. And we should enjoy each and every moment of our journey. And, and this journey is, is something which makes our life in, in enjoying and very enrichful. <laughs>